It's pretty mysterious to think about. Mm -hmm. But yet, what are the qualities of that invisible realm? That invisible realm that we exist together in as oneness is all encompassing. That invisible realm is all pervading, all pervasive. And that invisible realm is all exteriorizing. It's all outworking. It's a good emissary word. It's all manifesting. So if we all take a breath together and just briefly reflect what invisible spiritual action is available to us right now in this moment to love with all through the heart, to love with all through the soul, to love with all through the strength. This is the flow of the heart to the divine. And through that, the divine can flow through the heart, God giving to all in the field. No matter what's happening, it's all encompassing, all pervading, all exteriorizing, loving, pouring forth through the heart, pouring forth through the soul, pouring forth through the mind, pouring forth through the strength. No matter what's happening in any moment, this flow is flowing and um, One personal experience of this that um, is is that last night my son Shemesh asked me to offer him an attunement, and it's such a a powerful moment because I I never want to push this on 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 the kids you know I don't want to push this on anybody, but yet by loving the Lord with all and letting that flow into every word and every moment somehow what wants to open up in the heart of a child to be drawn closer to that um, has been made new. So let us come like a child to this moment. Let us really open our hearts to the love and the flow that wants to be born in this moment and in that fertile joy of acknowledgement of the calling and of the flow 